Hi everyone. I just wanted to share a couple of things about the new film that uh, I just recently uploaded to YouTube called Endless August. Um, I'm sharing this because as part of this folk filmmaking project, uh, you know, I, th I think it's encouraged to share some kind of uh, information about the making of the film in the hopes that it'll be of some use or value to someone, so I, I hope that it is. Um, there's actually not too much to say about this one. This was a very spontaneous project for me. Uh, it was it was inspired by the fact simply that I was going on vacation to the beach, and I wanted to take advantage of that to make a film, uh, as I as I call it, a, a film about time and memory. I find that going to the beach uh, is a place that evokes a lot of strong feelings, a lot of strong memories for me. Um, and I think it's perhaps because these, uh, and I think everybody probably has places like this in their life, whether it's a place you go on vacation regularly or, you know, uh, whatever. Um, but they're places that maybe don't, they don't really change, you know. And, and so when you go back to them over the years, you go back there and it's like, uh, it, it's, it's this kind of a place that sort of is frozen in time. So no matter where you are in your own life, when you go to that place, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it, it can take you back to earlier moments in your life uh, because it doesn't really change that much. I think that's a big part of the appeal of a lot of these vacation destinations, actually, is that they, uh, they're reliable, they're familiar, and they can bring up, a, you know, I think a lot of people associate very positive memories with them. So that's something I was trying to capture here. And what I wanted to do was to look at a character who is dealing with all these kind of external stressors in his life, but, you know, is taking this vacation, as most of us do, to kind of get away from all that. But also how those things that weigh on us mentally and emotionally can follow us there. And... Um, and that's really all. I, I don't want to, you know, say too much about that. I, I intentionally left some uh, moments of the film very much open uh, for people to interpret as they wish, uh, to maybe project a bit of their own thoughts onto. Uh, there's a scene in the film where the character that I play is watching the, the waves just rolling in and crashing on the beach, and that's something that I like to do um, in you know, in, re in real life, when I visit the beach, uh, I like to just sit and, and watch the waves, uh, watch the ocean. I find it very calming. Uh, it's kind of a meditative experience for me, so I wanted to try to put some of that across on film. As I said, the idea came to me pretty spontaneously. Um, it, was in, it was inspired by the upcoming trip. I said, I've got my, you know, smartphone camera that I'm shooting everything with these days. I'll bring this and... Uh, I wanted to do something improvisatory. Uh, I, I did kind of sketch out a very basic idea of what um, you know what I was hoping to achieve with making the film. But as far as all the dialogue and everything, um, as you, you, know, you may be able to tell, it is it is spon uh, uh, improvised, you know, kind of spontaneous uh, dialogue. And I, I hope to capture some of the sorts of conversations that occur on road trips, for example, where you're driving and driving for, you know, hours on end and, uh, you know, talking about maybe previous trips that you've taken elsewhere and remembering uh, vacations and places visited from the past. There is one other thing I'll say about this one, because it's a very, a very special uh, moment for me in the movie. There's a scene, uh, or a shot, really, uh, that occurs during the scene on the boardwalk. And it's a shot of, from the, from the, the beach, uh, looking up at the illuminated boardwalk at night. And since this is a film about time and memory, I, I think it's appropriate to share this story uh, about it, about that image, and, and really why I wanted to include that. And it's not just because I think it's a striking image on its own, but I remember as a kid, a very young uh, child, I had a recurring dream of standing, you know, in a, in a kind of a dark place, a dark, you know, space, I mean, looking up at a, you know, a row of, of, of uh, you know, lights and all these, these illuminated, um, 
you know, uh, little buildings and everything. And for a long time, I actually, I, like I said, this was a recurring dream, and I really had no idea, you know, even years later, I mean, when I would think of it, I had no idea really where it had come from. But um, the, the, in a few years uh, later, I was about seven, or eight, seven years old, I guess, and I was visiting the beach, uh, the, the boardwalk, and I actually recognized the the uh, image uh, standing out on the beach, and I recognized that that was uh, the, this image that I had been having as this, this kind of recurring image in a dream of, uh, of of looking at that boardwalk at night. And I only learned uh, after that that I had in fact visited that boardwalk when I was very young, about a year old, uh, in 1985. So I had in fact, uh, you know, we, I guess my parents had walked down to the beach with me and I, I saw that and it made quite an impression on me. So I, in fact, you know, it kind of confirmed that that is where that, uh, where that image came from. So I wanted to put that into the movie because it's one of the very earliest memories that I have. As I said, it kind of predated my ability to even remember where I had seen it, but it was an image that kept coming back to me. So that that was something I, I only mentioned that because it's a you know very personal story for me connected with that image and why I wanted to make sure to include it in the movie. But I I think that uh, like I said I think going on vacations like this to, to places that are familiar that we visit many times over the years throughout our lives uh, it creates a really a, kind of a unique experience because in a lot of ways those places don't change but we do and so I hope some of that perhaps comes across in Endless August and might um, inspire some similar thoughts uh, from your own life. Anyway, uh, if you feel like taking a look at it, I'll put a link to the film in the description below. Uh, like I said, it is a, uh, you know, I, I look at it as an experimental narrative film, so there is a story, but I think the, the way that I'm trying to put it across um, might be a little different, you know, like I definitely wanted to take a, what I'll call a meditative approach with this one, and, you know, part of that is using some very long shots, extended takes that I hope will uh, work toward that effect. Anyway, if you uh, happen to take a look at it, I hope you find it of some interest. Thanks as always for watching this video, and I uh, and, you know, get out there and make your own movies, of course. I, I hope that, if nothing else, this uh, maybe gives somebody some ideas or maybe a little inspiration. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll talk to you later.